Hi artists, you ready to do a fall Halloween type activity? We're gonna make spider webs today. So for your first part, you need a white piece of paper and you need a white crayon. And then you're gonna need some watercolor. So make sure you have your water close at hand. You have your watercolors. Um, you can do this with marker too, but um, I love, I told, tell you guys all the time, I love watercolors and it really looks really cool with watercolors, but you can use markers if you want. All right, so. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our spider web. Because we're using white on white, you're not gonna be able to see it very well, so the first thing I'm gonna do is draw it in Sharpie. While I'm drawing it in Sharpie, you actually need Sharpie for today at the end of it, but not right now. But while I'm drawing with Sharpie, I want you to draw with your white crayon because it'll be easier for you to see. I'm just drawing it in Sharpie so you're actually able to see it. So spider web, we're gonna start with three lines. It's gonna be right in this corner. All right, your lines could be all different sizes. And they could be as straight as possible. We don't even need to use a ruler though. And we're gonna do circles, but not full circles. But you wanna make it curvy, you don't wanna make it um, straight. Then you're gonna go up and make some more lines. You could do as many as you want. If you want them closer together, that's fine. But drawing on white paper with a white crayon while you're trying to figure it out is not that easy. So if you want to make less lines, so you make sure they're as, they're as good as possible, you could do that. And don't forget the line, that's where we're going to put our spider. Don't put your spider yet, because our spider is actually gonna be in black Sharpie, but just put the line so he can dangle from the end of the, the spider web. All right, so I'm gonna do that again, but now on my paper I'm gonna use white crayon. Hopefully, if you need to, go back and watch the spider web part again, because you're not gonna be able to see it as I'm drawing. I'm gonna try my best, here we go with white crayon. One, two, three lines. Kind of if you put your arm over it, you can see it a little bit better. All right, I think I got it. There we go, almost missed that one. All right, two, three, four. And let me find the end of my line. I think I might have lost it. You could also feel it with your fingers, that wax sticks to that paper. Hopefully I've got it when we use our watercolors, it's going to show. This is called crayon resist technique. I've done it a couple times in a couple different activities that we've done. So if you've already, a couple of grade levels are doing this one. So if you've already done it, it's really cool. If you haven't done it yet, wait till you see what happens when I start using my watercolors. Remember, watercolors need a lot of water. I'm gonna start with blues. I'm gonna do blues and purples. I don't think I'm gonna do much green with my cool colors. I might even add a little bit of black. Um, that's brown. Let me try that again. I might add a little bit of black because it's going to be like more of a nighttime kind of scene. All right, here we go. So I got my colors and there's my spider web. How cool is that? That it shows up. The crayon is resisting the paint. And we'll do a little bit of black. Not too much black because we're going to do our spider in black. All right. And right all the way down your paper. Keep finding that spider. Oh, look, I connected it right. Go, go Miss Elliot. Good job. Hopefully you guys did the same thing. If not, get another piece of paper. Always do your best. This is a quick activity, so if it didn't turn out the way you want to do, then you can keep going. All right, I'm gonna keep going all the way down my paper. Add a little more black, again, not too much because my spider's gonna be around there. More blues, more purple, more blue, more purple. I always like going the same direction. If you see, I do a little bit like of the other side, but then I always blend left to right. All right, and once you're done with that, I'm going to go through and I'm just gonna drop some water, just straight, I'm not going to my paint anymore. Drop some water, it makes this really cool, like almost like tie-dye kind of effect. Just water, all right? And I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna draw my spider. All right, I'll be back to you, show you when it's all done. All right, guys, I added my spider. It's still a little dry, so I'm going to leave it here. But I was able to add my spider because it was pretty dry in that area. Sorry, it's still wet is what I meant to say. So I'm going to leave it here so it doesn't tear. But I added my cute little spider there. So make sure you finish it with your spider. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bye, guys.